But if you actually look at the design, the print on it, this wallpaper is beautiful. Wow, this is a really bad angle. You picked a great place to sit. Anyway, Tigger, how did you sleep, baby? I sort of got up. I um, I had my inhaler and brushed my teeth. And this guy's just come up. He just come up to join me. Where I am I'm on the sofa. This morning is not going to plan. I have not fainted, but I keep getting pre syncope. I did vlog a little bit earlier when I just came down, <coughs> but I did not make much sense at all. And I paused for like 30 seconds to try and think of what I was saying. And after about a minute, I started feeling really, really like lightheaded and um, my vision started to go and my hearing started to go and I was like oh my gosh so I sat down and stretched my legs out and then I lay down I just couldn't think um so I came down I wore well I didn't want to have tomato plants I staked them which I'll show you in a minute um and I was feeling very lightheaded and like my feet were purple I was getting blood pooling <laughs> not good so I lay down and I got two litres of squash which I'm working my way through I said I want to finish it by three o'clock so it's quarter to two now, and you can see my pint glass there, and this is down to like here now. That's going all right, and um, my dad and I'm tagging along, going to my grandma's old house this afternoon because it's being sold very soon. But we want to go and clear the last little bits out. There's a Hoover, and there's possibly some photo frames that's it um and then we're good to go but uh, i thought i'd bring you with me because i i have got several memories in that house not necessarily like a lot of memories because she's in leicester we're in nottingham but <clears throat> but i do have some memories there so i'll bring you on this little tour and i will tell you what each room means to me <laughs> i think i look a bit better now cool a really busy shower. <laughs> um, I'm watching the Ellen Show. It's quarter past three, and this is what I've got left of my two litre bottle of squash. So I think I've done pretty well. I had an eight yesterday. I was like, do you think you're dehydrated? I was like, no, I'm drinking plenty enough. But today my body is telling me that I was definitely dehydrated yesterday. Um, even though I drank the right amount. nice. Robinson's apple and elderflower. Skug squash. 10 out of 10 would recommend. i got lots of plants to show you before we go to my grandma's house. Here's the lavenders all coming along. They all have sprouted. Every single one of them. This is what I did with my tomato plants. This one I've just done three wraps. One, two, three. And this one's got more of a trellis style. And then my peas. Wow. I need to go inside, mate. Sold! This is probably the last time I'll be walking into my grandma's house. It's beautiful overgrown. Oh, wow! That was filled with plants. I didn't know this room was this big. Whoa! Okay, if you look at like the carpet marks, you can see where there were things. So for this room, I would say I probably, memories of this room, trying to make a cup of tea right here and grandma hovering over me. Nice kitchen. So here we have, wow, it looks so bare. The lounge and the dining room. Oh, wow. Now oh, I know my memories in here. <laughs> um, we'll be looking at the trinkets and photos all along here. 
Every now and then we used to come for Sunday lunch. There was a massive uh, solid oak table here. Every now and then we'd come, all of us, including me, Josh. Um, then he got too weak and he couldn't come anymore, so we didn't come anymore. And specifically, I remember one time we'd come and Dad was on call. It was a Sunday. And I remember I was sat here. I thought something terrible had happened because we had to go because Dad was on call. And he got called. This is the hallway. Again, hundreds of trinkets down here, including lots of elephants and a fox. Very heavy ceramic fox right here. Um, oh, see, even now I can't go in this room. <laughs> I only went in this room a handful of times. She had lots of plants in here. Most real, some fake. She also had my granddad's ashes in here. I've only been in here, like I said, a handful of times. Hi. Look at the wallpaper. And this is the iconic window sill. Oh my goodness. She, again, lots of animal trinkets specifically on here. Several hedgehogs. Wade, wade animals. She had so many wade animals on here. She had crocodiles and hedgehogs and all sorts. I've got them now, she gave them to me. <laughs> it's there. Little toilet. Yep, yeah. oh, and of course that adorable um, toilet brush stand. Bathroom. Oh, there's a couple, and they're all from recent years. One of which, actually, I would say she always, always used to have um, this nail brush, which was a little whale. So I used to call it the whale brush. She has. We found another one in here when I was helping her clear this out. Last time I was here, I stayed over, and it was before I was in hospital. Um, so it was over a year ago that I was here. And I found another brand new one right at the top. Dad, is this your room? Yes, it was. How long ago? Ah, uh, 88 I moved out. Wow. This is my papa's room. <laughs> I've always loved the view from here. So the house backs onto Jubilee Park. <coughs> I can see a dog. Aww. Beautiful dog. And cute little girl learning to walk. Mutual support of small creatures. Well, I stayed in here when I stayed to help her tidy up. These girls were always full of little hidden treasures. So this was the sewing room. Wow. Oh. Oh, that could make you feel dizzy. But if you actually look at the design, the print on it, this wallpaper is beautiful. I like it. So my grandma had a lot of jobs, one particularly she worked at Next um, and she used to get lots of end of line stock and lots of fabric as well um, and in fact at home I do have a patchwork blanket that her and her mum made from various scraps that they got from end of line stock for their jobs but grandma always would have wah, hundreds of fabrics in it, I'm not sure what she did with them honestly she's not got room for them in her bungalow so I don't know where they are. Well, this is the crown and glory where it was. A bedroom. <laughs> so, obviously, it being my grandma's bedroom, I didn't come in here much. But I always used to think it was very Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland Hotel, if you've ever been. And I will explain why. Firstly, it smells like it. Secondly, all pink and flowers. It's very grand. Um, and um, mainly, so she had this set, this beautiful, beautiful set, and she still got some of the pieces um, of, or just a, a bedroom set. So she had this beautiful bed, an absolutely gorgeous dressing table with a mirror on like very Beauty and the Beast, very fancy Disneyland hotel, like I say. And then this massive wardrobe, and then another dressing table here with drawers. This one had space underneath so that you could sit down, and like a couple of drawers either side of that. Um, but yeah, oh, wish I could have something like that. Now this is actually, this for me is the crown and glory of this house. Look how steep these steps are. But this was a room me and my sister always loved the most when we were kids because we'd come up these steep steps 
which is a bit naughty because they were quite dangerous. And right here, there were three tiny bicycles. And they were just loads in and playing with them <laughs> every time we came. Um, my goodness, chandeliers. This was my auntie's room when she was a child. And it's a pretty fun room. Pretty fun room. It's a steep drop. There's no wall. No, door, sorry, there's no door. So this is another one of the places that I've got memories of looking out to Jubilee Park. Um, but mainly the garden, honestly. Because when grandma was in, well, I wouldn't necessarily say her prime, but when she was still very mobile and able, this, this garden was alive. But um, back to the room. <laughs> Me and Lizzie once went in this cupboard and we found, obviously there's this boiler here, but it was stacked full of carrier bags. And Lizzie took a carrier bag out. I think this was when we were sort of debating of should grandma move or not. And um, we took out one of these carrier bags and it was pieces of paper and books and notes from my dad when he was in school. And she took another one out and had a look and it was the same. And she said, oh my God, it's all of dad's schoolwork from when he was at school. We took one of the books down, it was French. <laughs> and uh, on the inside cover, um, he had started writing down a grocery list list. And we found another small note because while well, we took that down to him and we said, what were these groceries for? because there was pages and pages in the smaller notebook. And he was like, oh, they're it for me. <laughs> when Dad was a kid, his first ever business model was um, he would go and buy groceries for people and charge them a little bit of money and deliver groceries on his bike, which I think is really cute. But when we found those things in here, Lizzie said, pray to God she doesn't move because we're going to have to sort out these cupboards. You know who sorted out these cupboards? Bye-bye, coolest room. Now, I'll show you the dangerous bit of this room. It's going down the stairs. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't know if the electricity's been got off. Let's find out. Ah. Ah. That house was awesome. Hmm. Still smells like... Grandma's house right here. Let's go outside. Mm, looking very sad. Did have lots and lots and lots of plants and stuff growing. I mean, it does have plants growing, but it's an entirely different variety. There were so many pots on here, far more than this. Some more lovely flowers. Ooh, what is this? Wow! And just over this fence, let's peek. There's Jubilee Park. Yeah. Did you once fall through ice there? Yes, that, that was it actually. I thought it was uh, just shallow ice, Don't. solid ice. And I went for a little skate and it was solid ice. There was about three inches of ice. So, I'll do just a little before and after for you. Um, obviously here I am in my grandma's living room. Here I'm gonna show you a photo of it before she moved out and then a photo of it now. Isn't that different? Bye bye little electric heater fire. Bye little piece that used to hold photos of soul. Bye bye lovely cornishes that used to hold all of our photos. Bye bye fireplace with granddad's pictures on. Bye area where the table used to stand. Bye garden. Bye garage. Bye bye plant pots. Bye bye chipped floorboards. Goodbye, copious rugs. Goodbye, sliding doors that always used to get stuck. Goodbye, fold down table. Goodbye, dirty oven. Goodbye, Dad, I live here now. <laughs> Goodbye, bins. Goodbye, empty spaces that used to have things that were oh, very big, I don't know. Goodbye, kitchen cupboards that held more cups and glasses than any one woman would need. Goodbye, drawers. Goodbye, cupboards. My grandma used to scroll away caffeine needed tea because the doctor said she wasn't allowed it anymore, but she didn't care. Goodbye, dead fly. Goodbye, on its strawberry teacup. Goodbye, window keys. Goodbye, kitchen tap. Goodbye, kitchen carpet and mat. I think we're about to go. <coughs> I did want to get a little Instagram video just of all of the rooms. Uh, me just saying empty in all the rooms, but oh, I can't.
can't face the stairs. I would love to go back upstairs, but not gonna happen. Um, had a pre-sync pick and when I got out of the car, oh, my body doesn't like me today. Well, it's been good. It's time for us all to move on. You look like you're reading a speech. Oh no, I'm not reading a speech. I know you are. And it only just started recording. Oh. Bye bye, two. Oh, there's a leaf in the way. <laughs> bye bye. Leave two, us alone. Bye bye, two, five, six. Bye, hi. It's been great. Bye, Gma's house. Hope Dad's own house. Else really happy. It will. You've been waiting for the whale brush. <laughs> Good evening. I'm now home. I'm walking to dark area. There goes my face. Um, my dad said in the car. Oh, I didn't realise that you'd not seen it since you'd stayed over. Nope. So last time I saw it, it was still fully furnished, minus the bits and bobs that we'd taken to charity or like we've got my dad's dad's chair. Um, but yeah, last time I saw it was when I stayed over to help her pack. Um, then I went into hospital and she moved her house from there to her bungalow. Um, two weeks after I went into hospital. I don't know, anyway. Um, yeah, so it was very different. Um, I am um, today, although I've been feeling faint pre syncope all day, I'm thankful that I didn't faint and I'm thankful that I was able to go and say goodbye to the old house and also thankful that I got to go and see grandma because three times in one week is really not bad going. So uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow for more thankful thoughts. Night.